Hi, this video is a residential real estate market update for Edmonton and Sherwood Park for November 2019. We'll also talk about why it even matters to know how the residential real estate market is performing. I'm Jen McPhillamy, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Okay, so before we get into the stats, let's talk about the number one reason why you should know how the real estate market is performing. Basically, it's so you have reasonable expectations during the buying and selling process. In a seller's market, things are typically moving really fast, selling really close to list price, at list price, or even sometimes above list. In a buyer's market, things are moving quite a bit slower, and typically things are selling below list price. So knowing what's happening in the market will allow you to move to the appropriate speed of that market. Because if you're doing the opposite of what the market is doing, it's gonna lead to great frustration and you probably won't meet your real estate goals. So this good understanding of the market is gonna alleviate that frustration and get you closer to your goals by simply aligning your expectations with the market conditions. Okay, so let's dive right into those stats for November 2019. But first, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my weekly videos and my monthly market updates. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the median list price, the sold to list ratio, and the days on market for single family detached homes and condominiums in Edmonton and Shore Park. Now, in previous videos, I have said that it's good or bad, but in this video, I'm gonna let you decide because depending on if you are a buyer or a seller, you will view these numbers differently. For example, buyers typically like to see median sold prices and the sold to list ratio going down and stabilizing. They also don't mind seeing a little bit longer days on market because it gives them a little bit more time to make their decision. Whereas sellers typically like to see median sold prices and the sold to list ratio increasing while the days on market is decreasing. I mean, can you blame them? Who wouldn't want a quick sale at top dollar? First up, Edmonton, single family detached homes. The median sold price is 389,000. This is up both month over month and year over year. The sold to list ratio is pretty stable year over year, month over month at 97%. The days on market for November was 50. That is up month over month, but down year over year. In summary, these numbers are indicating that we're in a buyer's market with a 16% chance of selling. Okay, Edmonton condos. The median sold price was 200,000. This is down both year over year and month over month. The sold to list ratio was quite low at 93%. That's down both month over month and year over year. And the days on market for November was 61. That's up month over month, but down year over year. The condo market isn't really performing that much worse than the detached single homes. It's still a buyer's market and you have a 13% chance of selling. Okay, moving on to Sherwood Park. Detached single family home in Sherwood Park median sold price was $429,500. This is down month over month and year over year. The sold to list ratio is holding steady at 98%, hasn't changed month over month or year over year. The days on market was 42, which is pretty flat month over month, but it's down year over year. These numbers are indicating that it's still a buyer's market with 26% chance of selling, but that's hovering pretty close to the 30% where we start seeing more of a balanced market. Condos and Shore Park. Now, this is a crazy category. Nothing makes sense to me here. Everything is one month things are up, one month things are down. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Condos and Shore Park median sold price for November was $289,500. This is up month over month, but down year over year. And the reason why it's down year over year was crazy when I looked into it. It was, there was three sales last November and they, the average or median sold price for that was like in the 400,000. So I think this is more of an anomaly than an indication of what's happening. The sold to list ratio is also pretty flat at 97%, both month over month and year over year. Days on market 
for November was 67. That's up month over month and year over year. I know last month we were teetering onto a balanced market for condos in Shura Park, but now we're solidly <laughs> back in a buyer's market. So your chance of selling a condo in Shura Park was 18% last month. Well, that sums it up. If you have any questions, please comment below or reach out to me directly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.